personified with Elijah L. Harris. I am him, Mr. Elijah L. Harris himself. Um, I do that for a couple of reasons, that little introduction thing or whatever. One, to give you something consistent that you know you can look forward to. But two, truth be told, I got to hype myself up just a tad sometimes, right? Because sometimes I could forget who I am and like the differentiator that I am, the power that I have. Um, And I want each and every one of you to be able to do the same thing, right? Um, Fun fact, I like to put the middle initial in in my name, again, as a differentiator, because you can look around and find other Elijah Harris's that are out here in this world, walking around, doing their thing, whatever. But there may be some other Elijah L. Harris's, but I want to differentiate myself. When you see my name out there on social media or um in my signature at work or even on my wherever wherever i put my name nine times out of ten you will catch an l in it because i want you to know exactly who i am and everything that i come with right so yes i am elijah l harris um and i'm loud and proud about it um So with this show, you know, today I have a topic in mind, but I like to start my episodes by letting you know, where am I mentally and emotionally? And I'm going to try to make it easy, make it easy to digest for myself and you by giving you a rating one out of 10. So if I had to think about where I am on a scale of one to 10, um, mentally slash emotionally, maybe between a six and a seven, I'm definitely, I'm not great per se i'm not i'm not i'm not trash either um i've been there i've done that i'm not there um you know but i'm somewhere in the middle and i certainly have room to grow but i've been kind of coasting a little bit i feel like i've been kind of coasting a little bit um you know i just started a new job about a month or two ago and it's really new to me new for me and um because at my previous employer, I was there for, you know, seven years, I got to be really comfortable there. And I was in a rhythm. And I had been for quite some time. And then when you shake that up, and you go somewhere new, while it's an excellent opportunity, you know, for me to go and meet new people and and learn new things and blossom, that that those beginning stages are kind of slow. You might feel a little bit lost, a little uncomfortable. And I'm, I'm trying to work through some of those things and um, kind of find my groove again, you know, where I know exactly where I fit, exactly where I'm going to be able to add value. Um, and, and at the same time, remember, like, you know, I, I stepped into this position for a reason. Like, I have certain gifts and, and tools and things that I know that I'm good at that I bring to the table. Like, do not forget those things, even though you're new, even though you're learning. Even though, you know, you're still meeting people and everything, do not forget the person in the mirror. Know who you are as you're embarking on this journey. Um, And that's been something I've had to kind of like remind myself over and over again Um, and keep my head in the game, if you will. So that's one thing I I mean, I I know that I'm going through right now. But outside of that, things are kind of things are just kind of chill. Like there's not a whole, whole lot going on um, for me tangibly you know on the surface I think there's some other things that are kind of pulling on my heart a little bit where I feel like I'm maybe not doing the best that I can I'm not gonna get too deep into that at this very moment but just know that mentally emotionally for me right now six and a half seven right just take that for what it is all right cool so I also want to as I get into the show and do this thing I want to I want to spotlight or highlight someone Something that I know I have seen recently out here doing excellent things. Excellent spotlight. And we are in the midst of the Olympics. And if you've been watching, there's been a lot of really cool things been happening. And if you haven't been watching, next week's probably going to be better anyway because track is about to start soon. And that's really where you want to tap in. You know, but, um, but if you've been watching basketball, 
right? USA men's basketball and women's, obviously, we're undefeated. Very much likely we're going to win gold medals for the men and women. But what I want to highlight is that South Sudan men's basketball team. And the reason I want to highlight them is because of where they've come from and what they're currently doing and where they're going. And I think it's going to directly relate and correlate to what I'm going to talk about today when it comes to excellence, right? When I talk about excellence, and I'm going to get into this, and that's going to be kind of be my topic of the show. You know, when I talk about excellence, I talk about the mindset. I talk about taking advantage of opportunities that lie in front of you, right? South Sudan, men's basketball, if you've heard their story, they, they don't have the tools, the resources. Obviously, the country is brand new. They just established their independence, you know, 10 plus years ago. Um, they don't have the resources. They don't have, you know, indoor basketball courts and facilities to train in. They just, they getting it literally out the mud, right? Shout out to Luol Deng, NBA veteran, um, who is pouring a ton of his money and resources and time and efforts into building, uh, building that, that program, funding it from the ground up, literally everything, like everything that they have and, and are able to use is really coming from Luol Deng. So shout out to him. But they're out here on this world stage that they've qualified for. Like, right? don't get it twisted. They didn't just get, you know, given this opportunity. They earned this, first of all. Um, but they're out here showing the gifts that were, were laid within them. Um, and what matters the most, I think, is that they're taking advantage of the opportunities that they're given, maximizing their potential and igniting their excellence in the time uh, or in the moments that they're able to show up for. Um, and I just think it really says a lot. And to see an African nation really, you know, win over the hearts of many of the people that are watching uh, in France and across the world, it's a beautiful thing to see. It really is. You know, they, they're not going to, well, they played earlier today. They didn't beat, obviously, USA. They almost beat us a week or two ago in an exhibition match. Um, you know, but they're out here doing their thing, and I'm so proud of them. So I just wanted to highlight them um, because they really are excellence personified, right? And when we talk about excellence, you know, as we get into this show, like I really want to hone in on and define what excellence is, what it means to me. OK, you can look excellence up in the dictionary and um, I've defined it for myself, so I don't really need to or really care to, honestly. But for the sake of conversation, I did. So excellence, according to whatever dictionary Google pulls from. Um, it says the quality of being outstanding or extremely good. Um, I would challenge that or, or maybe push it a little bit further to recognize the process behind that, right? So while that's a dictionary definition, my definition really speaks to the mindset, right? You know, the mindset of approaching opportunities with an excellent mindset, understanding that I can, I can make a choice to choose to live a life of excellence, choose to approach something with excellence, choose to understand that like, I'm going to position myself to succeed in this moment. I'm going to position myself for excellence. And it starts with the mindset that you have for yourself, the belief that you're worthy of this excellence, and then the actions that you put behind it. I built basically my entire brand around the idea of being and showing and living in excellence. Why did I do that? Because for me, I had to figure out something that I could like tie, tie my life to in a way where like, no matter what it is that I'm going through, thinking through, dealing with, whether it's personally, professionally, you know, internally, externally, whatever it might be, I had to tie myself to something that would keep me, keep me led or steered on the right path to show up in the best way that I can in all of those environments. All right. And for me, I'm like, okay, you know what, E, you need to, you need to first believe that you are excellent. You need to believe that excellence lies within you. 
and that you're worthy of it okay because before I before I, I started to kind of embark on this excellence journey you know I didn't really think that I was that great or that excellent or that there was anything really special living within me you know um, and, and that showed in some of the ways that I would interact with people or interact with myself right but as I started to see that I'm like okay I can take that and apply it to everything so let me give you just a really tangible basic example of what what igniting your excellence looks like to me all right say you're in school all right we might have students listening to this say you're in school you know you have a test on Friday or even next Friday or wherever it whenever it might be say the test on Friday all right um, you know it's Monday and you need to study okay boom you have an opportunity you have a choice to make all right are you going to ignite your excellence to prepare ahead of time prepare with excellence or are you going to drag your feet start studying on wednesday or thursday and think you about to cruise to the finish line you know without preparing in the way that you really need to all right choice choice number one are you going to ignite your excellence and study ahead of time or are you going to drag your feet and prepare with mediocrity right um cool so preparation is one thing right before you even get to the test maybe you're a procrastinator okay maybe you know you know for a fact you're a procrastinator or or even that you know there's a certain subject on this test that you know you need extra help for are you going to ignite your excellence take the opportunity make the choice to reach out to your teacher schedule some office hours send them an email okay these are all choices that we can make to prepare ourselves for the test all right boom you make this choice is it an excellent choice is it not but that's on you all right but you're igniting your excellence in that moment right approaching each of these opportunities with excellence you follow me so we get to the test on friday hayes in the barn you prepared or you didn't but when you wake up that morning what's your mindset okay what's your mindset even if you didn't prepare hopefully you did but even if you didn't you still have a choice to go in with a certain mindset like whatever it is that you do know or understand just go in with that certain level of confidence that like I was born with excellence all right I'm, I'm about to step into all this I'm about to step into this opportunity step into this classroom have a seat grab this pencil or pen and we're gonna rock this thing you know um, that's a mindset of excellence now if you didn't prepare accordingly you can go in with that mindset and still catch a F that's on you because you didn't prepare accordingly however the mindset is what changes everything okay because you cannot prepare and then go in and be like well damn I'm gonna fail and go in and fail or you can show up and go in with a certain level of confidence and ignite your excellence in that moment and that could change some things but it's a choice that you have to make all right now once you do that whatever the outcome is that's a whole nother conversation what I want to focus on is the mindset and and the the tools and the gifts that you use to ignite the excellence that that lies within you that's what I want to focus on the process and everything that goes into building and living a lifestyle of excellence because those are the things that we have full control over and how we how we implement change in our life how we how we exemplify excellence how we use the gifts and the tools we've been given to show up in a way where people have no choice but to look at you and be like he's bright like he's shining you feel me so that's that's what I'm getting at when I speak on excellence when I when I call this show excellence personified that's what I'm that's what I'm dialing in on okay what does it look like? What does it feel like, you know, to, to live a lifestyle of excellence? And ultimately for me, you know, I feel like 
once you once you find some of these things and find out ways to ignite your excellence there's three steps to it in my opinion you know first of all you ignite the fire that lies within you you ignite your excellence okay that's step number one first understanding and believing that you have excellence lying within you figuring out and igniting that fire within you all right step two after that is to find ways to feed that fire what is your why 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 am i doing this why am i pouring all this this effort or energy into living an excellent lifestyle into igniting that fire you got to feed that you got to be able to feed that right and as you do that that fire continues to burn and excellence becomes the expectation it's not just a moment in time it becomes a lifestyle right? and then once you once you ignite it and you figure out how to feed it then you can go about sharing it right share your excellence like i said people are going to see you and know like that dude is different that that lady that chick man she she's something special boy like you're gonna be different because everybody's not walking around like that they just not you know but 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 when you figure it out and you ignite that fire that lies within you man you you can impact so many people that surround you whether it's directly or indirectly people people are watching people are watching and picking up what you're putting down so if we're out here leaving a legacy regardless choose to leave an excellent one right choose intentionally what you want to share with the people around you ignite your excellence harbor store feed the fire of your excellence and then share that thing figure out how what it, what it looks like to you to to impact those around you and share that thing whether it's whether it's you you're you have a family and you are obviously impacting those around you you're in relationship you know you, you're a consultant right whatever it might be it doesn't matter what it is ignite your excellence as a neighbor you think about you living next door to these people there's ways you can ignite your excellence and impact those people that are around you gosh everything is an opportunity for us to choose to ignite our excellence right it can be so simple it does not have to be complex trust and believe it don't some of the simplest things go the furthest way and make the biggest impact. And all I want to do with this show is illuminate what it looks like, what it feels like, what it takes for different people, different walks of life, different stories. Just out here just igniting that excellence, man. Like I said, for me, it's taken me some time to understand this about myself, believe it. And if there's anybody that's watching or listening to this and feel like, you know, you don't really know where your excellence shines or even that excellence is lying within you. Um, please, if you don't take anything else from this episode, know that you are already excellent. All right. You are already excellent. It's lying within you. It's waiting for you to find that, find that gift, find that box, wherever it is that's stored inside of you. Unwrap it, open it up, and and light that thing on fire so that you can feel it burning inside of you, and people not people not gonna have no choice but to see it. It's inevitable. I promise you. I promise you it's inevitable. I believe it so deeply. And and, and my 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 vision is for each and every person that I walk alongside, that listens to me speak, that that is just living their daily lives, understand that and believe that about themselves and just shine the, the biggest, brightest light on this world humanly possible. Man, because imagine what this world would look like if everybody could find the excellence that's lying within them and, and, and light that fire and impact those around us, right? And just because I choose to create this show and 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 speak on these types of things that doesn't mean that that's what you have to do right your excellence is a little different maybe than my excellence 
And that's okay. That is perfectly fine. That's why I say ignite your excellence. Because it's different. It's different to everybody in all these different situations. But that's for you to identify and, and, and ignite within you so that you can be the best version of you that's humanly possible. Right? Because I can't do that for you. I can't. <laughs> I can help you. But I can't do it for you. But you have every power within you to do it. Trust and believe. All right. That's where I'm going to let you go. If you have any feedback, thoughts, questions on excellence, um, how I feel about it, how I think about it, if, if something I said didn't make any sense, let me know. Um, I can clarify. We can talk about it. But thank you for taking the time to join me again. Until next time, peace, love, and joy. I'm going to holler at y'all.